Minister for Education Honorable David Andrew touched base with staff and students of several schools on the Sister Isle this week. This was a follow-up to prior visits since the reopening of school in October. Annette Moore traveled with the minister and filed this report. Minister for Education, Senator the Honorable David Andrew, met with educators, parents, and students at several primary and secondary schools in Karakou yesterday. Schools visited included Winwood Preschool, Bogles Pre-Primary, Dover Government, Our Lady of the Rosary Primary School, Harvey Vale Government, Hillsborough Primary, Hillsborough Secondary, and Bishop's College. During these engagements, the minister expressed his concern about the post-barrel situation that the residents of Karakou are temporarily operating in. He encouraged and reassured them of the ministry's efforts to support them. Both educators and parents related their struggles as it relates to housing needs and their efforts towards finding solutions to these issues. Similarly, educators also noted that they are trying their best to adapt to the new school environments, particularly the schools using tents, such as the Mount Pleasant Government and Dover Government Schools, the latter of which was destroyed by Hurricane Barrel. It was also an opportunity to view the extensive refurbishment and repair works at the schools. For example, at Our Lady of the Rosary Primary School, Hillsborough Government Primary and Preschools, roofs were replaced where they were either damaged or altogether destroyed. Screens and roofing were repaired at the Harvey Vale Government School. Ongoing works are being done at Bishop's College, Hillsborough Government, Winwood Preschool, among other works to school infrastructure on the island. At Dover Government, there was was much discussion about the need to speedily improve students' learning conditions. The school is now located under tents on the grounds of the Winwood Preschool. The principal of Our Lady of the Rosary Primary School, whose school mainly sustained damage to the roof, says students have settled in well. The school was one of the fortunate ones that, um, well, was not totally destroyed. Um, the roof was still intact, but there were some um, structural issues with the roof in that trusters was damaged. Um, so after, in preparation for school, what was done is that the entire um, galvanized on the roof was removed and was replaced, including um, the trusters on the inside was also repaired and uh, um, still was added to the trusters, the wooden trusters to make them a bit stronger. Um, in addition to that, we had um, damages to um, to windows, um, our, our electrical system was damaged, and our plumbing system. Taking in, into consideration what we have gone through with burial, I am very happy with our current situation. Um, we are in our classrooms, although they are very hot, because um, at present also we have lost a lot of our fans, um, so it's very hot. Um, but the thing about it is we are resilient and we are making what we have to. You know, we're here to learn and we're going to do whatever it is to have that. The Return to Happiness program would have started here yesterday and um, the children really received it well. Uh, in fact, um, this morning my son asked me, um, Daddy, um, would the person from the ministry coming back to do the program today? So, you know, they want it to continue. One student says she appreciates the Return to Happiness program, which is sponsored by UNICEF. That program supports students who have been exposed to traumatic situations such as Hurricane Barrel. We learned to play different stuff and they introduced different stuff that we didn't know and it was very nice. It helped me out very good and it was very exciting and I appreciate it. The parents and teachers of the Dover Government School are deeply affected by the loss of the physical building that housed their school and would like the school community to remain together, regardless of the final decision to rectify the current situation. Several solutions were discussed and will be further evaluated to provide a temporary solution as soon as possible. Generally, other schools are managing well. Minister Andrew committed to returning to Karakou for a longer period when he can meet at length with education stakeholders and possibly present final solutions to the most serious issues. The team traveling up from Grenada with the Education Minister included Permanent Secretary Aaron Francois, Senior Administrative Officer Alana Felix Roberts, Project Officer Ruth Charles, and members of the Public Relations Unit. For the GIS News, I'm Annette Moore.